Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week of August 5th, 2024. Now this week is extra special. We're going to talk about a lot of things here. But we have the Lionsgate portal which occurs on 8-8, August 8th. But we are in an 8 year. So there you go. It's 8-8-8, extra powerful. There's probably been a lot of prep that you guys have been experiencing Maybe it's been watching other people having a hard time shedding what they need to shed, people acting in very strange ways. And I'm talking to like an extra, extra level, like something is really out of character for someone to do or say. Those kinds of things are and will continue as, as we go on, you know, through this time. Now, as far as the power of the eights, the eights are starting to set you up for the 1010 portal. If you're not familiar, we have the 8899 is when we start experiencing endings. That's in October. 1111 is where some, in some cases, we are learning the toughest lessons that we need in order to keep moving on our soul's contract, or it could be manifesting and bringing things to fruition. And then the 1212 to the end of the year, is just bringing that everything full circle and bringing everything to an absolute conclusion, meaning you have processed whatever has ended, you're starting to acclimate to whatever you have started and you are bringing into your existence, right? So this starts kind of around this time. We have these, you know, duplicated dates every single month, but here you go. This is the one where you have to see, hmm, uh, they're already giving me messages here. So <laughs> they said blockades. Um, it's interesting how they put things sometimes, but the blocks, right? So the things that are holding you up from abundance, or it's more than that. I mean, it could be prosperity, abundance. It could be all of that. It could also be uh, what patterns do I have that I keep repeating that are holding me back. Now, the fortunate side of this is that you realize it so that you can correct it. Now, the other thing too, is that you might be discovering or rediscovering a passion. We are in Mercury retrograde, so you might be going back to something that feels familiar, uh, something that's on repeat, right? Uh, something coming back around. But more than anything, I think this is like really trying to help advance people. Okay, so what do I mean by that? I mean, if you get into a low space or you're having these emotional reactions to things, maybe you start realizing, hey, that's the thing that makes me unhappy, right? So why do I keep going towards it? Or if I know a certain somebody is going to act a certain way, why am I shocked? And why do I keep going towards that person? If you have to be around that person, can I, you know, just see it from a different perspective and not let them get to me, right? So really paying attention to what sort of takes away from your energetic frequency, what keeps you dropping down low, okay? So that's not an easy thing. That's not really an easy thing. But if you can flow with it, by the time we get up to this 888 portal, Lionsgate portal, this is a chance at ascension and really living, I know it sounds like a big promise, but really living your best life. And what does that best life really look like? Now, you and your ego consciousness and me and my ego consciousness, we're all going to sit here and go, well, my best life is owning, you know, a house on a beach right? <laughs> or having that incredible love partner or whatever. But this is more authentic than that. Uh, and I think what I mean by that is um, you might find that the house that you have makes you quite happy. And you're just discovering that. Now, ha having said all that, the other potentials, obviously this can be a time of immense windfalls. Just depends on where you are and what you're willing to look at. So we are going to do a card reading here. We're going to see what the collective needs to understand. As you listen to this, there will be something very personal that comes out of it. And you will know that because you will get your intuitive hit. There will be an image, a color, a saying, something that gets your mind working and you realize, ah, uh, yeah, I have been fighting with someone or, oh, you know, I do need to work on my sacral chakra or whatever the case may be. There is something personal here for you. Now, speaking of, if you want to get a personal reading with me, 
I do have a couple more spots left this week if you want to get an 8-8 Lionsgate portal reading from an angelic standpoint. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to get one of those. Um, it may not happen right on August 8th, but that's fine. This influence goes on for a few days. So email me. It won't be too late. We can get you in. Now, if you just want to do an angelic reading of any type, or if you want to also do the Lionsgate portal reading and you don't want any time commitment on your part, that would be my standard reading. So you can just go to angelsouls444 at gmail. No, angelsouls, hold up, angelsouls444.com to get the standard reading. That's the website. Sorry. The Gmail emailing me is for the live session. Does that make sense? Does it? Okay. If you did not check out the show I did with Christopher Witecki or the segment within his show, I should say, get on over there and check it out. There is a gift there if you want it. So you have to go over and watch that video. That uh, code is only good until August 16th. So let's get more of these cards here. A lot of Gabriel so far. <laughs> All right. I am not shocked, but quite pleased. All right. So we have seven of Gabriel, knight of Gabriel, king of Ariel, and ace of Ariel. And then I'm going to pull some cards from the Magdalene Oracle. But the seven of Gabriel is how we're starting out here. So again, it might have been a bit of a tumultuous start to the week. It might have been uh, like me. I ugh, like one thing after another kept coming up and I could not sit down in front of my camera and be able to talk to y'all like <laughs> I've been trying so hard. So this is that kind of energy. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. So there is that. So you've had to maybe defend yourself. Maybe you've had people coming at you. This whole thing of like perspective police or people playing devil's advocate. I don't know about, about y'all, but I don't. I don't think that makes someone a good person. I think that that is um, kind of along the same lines of a friend to many is friend to none. You're just trying to play in order to uh, aggravate someone, you know, or something or not be supportive. So this, I feel definitely like this portal for a lot of you who are watching this, this is you stepping into uh, a powerful position within your own life. Okay. So this doesn't have to be like a job necessarily. It could be, but it doesn't have to be that. But stepping into this powerful position of just because you say it to me, doesn't make it true. Or if I'm not going to get support here, I can support myself and be there for me. But there might've been something here where you've had to defend how you think, how you feel, what you should, your feelings are your feelings, right? I mean, if you're being hysterical and someone's trying to <laughs> calm you down and help you in that way, that's different. But I'm talking about like you have a perspective and someone says, no, you can't think that or you're wrong for thinking that. And this is, you know, part of the climate here in the United States right now, especially, I mean, all over the world, but here especially. So the seven of Gabriel is you fighting off the haters a little bit, I'm telling you. So <laughs> that is in and of itself a huge breakthrough and something incredibly abundant when you are no longer affected by people's opinions of you. You know, I mean, let's be healthy, but you know what I mean. All right, Knight of Gabriel, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Take, no, wait, wait, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> time to take action. Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. I'm telling you, something, the thing that is breaking open for a lot of people, okay, in the coming days and even the days that follow 8 8 will be this fresh vitality. Yes, this is sacral chakra energy here, the seven of Gabriel and the knight of Gabriel, more because it's Gabriel. Gabriel oversees the sacral chakra. So there's something here around money, sure, because that rules that as well. But just being able to step into a good sense of self, a solid sense of self. And being unshakable, I just heard that, being unshakable. Because the sacral chakra is also about emotions and, and what we're storing up. So because it's Mercury retrograde as well, this could be a time where something that has pained you for years and years and years or was a trigger or something along those lines, maybe you're finally getting that healed, okay? You're finding a way to come through that. But in, other, in another sense here, 
you are identifying the source of an energy leak. So if your energy is being pulled away from you, you're going to become acutely aware of who is doing that or what is doing that, right? So it could be a situation that you keep worrying about and you finally come to some sort of resolution around that. Then, then we have the King of Ariel. This feels like a person in this context. So this is a maybe a man. It doesn't have to be a man, but it could be a man who is in power. Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. There you go. Using resources wisely. So the reason why I think this feels like a person is this is someone who you are learning from. And it might be an unlikely person. So if you are somebody who's like... I would never live my life like X, Y, and Z. Well, you see somebody who, let's say you're an incredibly spiritual, artistic person and you make friends with somebody you deem very weirdly with like a business-minded person and you realize, okay, I could learn a lot from this person and they're gonna learn a lot from you as well and having that beautiful balancing and harmonizing. So that could be this person that you're learning from, but because you're learning from this person, they're balancing you out, you are able to implement some of the stuff that you've learned and become successful. I think there's something, you're figuring out what has held you up, I'm telling you. The blockades is what they were calling them. <laughs> blockades, we're figuring it out. Then we have Ace of Ariel. So this can, again, be a very abundant, beautiful time for you. It's your lucky day. All right, new resources of money, time, or support a change in job or promotion. So yeah, you see how this is like, now you're getting professional support, you're getting the money support. Maybe this is someone who's teaching you how to work with money. Um, but again, it has this unlikely sort of pleasant surprise feeling around it. Uh, somebody caring enough. And again, you might have always thought, and this is for a lot of you out there, you might have always thought like, no, no, the people I go to meditation group with, they're my people because they are spiritual. Well, you might be realizing that they've been talking behind your back this entire time. And the person that you always judged for being too mainstream or whatever is actually the good hearted person who cares about you. It could be something along those lines. Now, let me get these uh, Magdalene cards here. And I'll pull four cards out of this one too. So we have eight cards in the spread tonight. Or maybe it's today for you. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Got heart and soul. Universal Christ, Christ consciousness. That's the breakthrough the messenger that's gabriel okay and surrender you don't gotta do nothing okay <laughs> no but you have to be uh aware all right so going back through here here's heart and soul this is getting your mind and your heart online with one another being in your highest potential at least for what is appropriate for you at this time on your soul's contract okay so getting in touch with your heart this is this nice kind of release um, potential release. Okay. If it doesn't happen right on that day, it's all right. Remember what I said, you know, we can come and get a reading if you want. We'll tune in with the angels and see what sort of things might be coming up for you. Oh gosh, I should say this. That does not guarantee that you're going to have your reading unless you book a live session. Then I guess you would have it at the time that we schedule it. But if you get a standard reading and you're like, how come I didn't get it by the eighth? Um, because you waited and you're like, I don't know, number 50 in line. I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> okay? So just, it's okay though. You can still get your reading and it will still apply, all right? I just want to put that out there. Whew, good thing I caught that. Can you imagine people like contacting me daily? Where's my reading? All right, so universal Christ, this is what we're working towards. We're working towards that unity and that's where that real support is coming from, right? Again, I can't stress this enough. It's coming from an unlikely place, now, I don't know that it's necessarily the support and love is coming from somebody who is your enemy, <laughs> right? But I think the angels are working through someone. They are or, or many someones to bring you love and support, to bring you a little grace, to help you remember yourself. So 
Again, the angels are going to be working not just how they normally work with you, but they're working through others to come to you. So this is going to be, you know, in order to get here, a lot of souls coming together uh, who have similar frequencies, similar vibrations. Now, you might say, well, we've always done that. I think you're going to be shocked that who you used to vibrate with and who you thought were like the pure ones that wasn't the case at all. So could this lead to new friendships? Oh yes, 100%. But we have to take a turn here and it's because we overthought our spiritual process. We jumped to conclusions about our spiritual process. We, instead of looking at what was right in front of us, jumped to conclusions about because this person does this or believes like this, that automatically makes them good. Here's a time when you're realizing that is not the case. That is not the case. So be mindful and, and watch how people treat one another. You know, that's what you want to go by, not by what political viewpoints they have. I know that's going to be a little bit hard for some of you to hear, but it's true. You know, good hearted people, that's what we want to connect with. And we have surrender here. So this is definitely telling us not to overthink it. Do your manifestations, do your meditations, do all of those good things. But remember, it's not about just getting material things to flow into your life. You're trying to reach universal Christ consciousness. We want to be raising that frequency. We want to be open to divine love and have that beautiful connection with others. Now, as a result of that, okay, you might have some good news around money this week. You might have something getting settled that has been hanging over your head. All of that is, you know, very much a potential. But that is just the byproduct to the more important thing that's going on here, which is raising your frequency and using this time for expanding your consciousness. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.